Hi, my name is Akshay. I'm an intern here at BioFlight, and today I'll be demonstrating the Z750. As you can see, the Z750 comes in two different color variants, green and yellow. Other than the difference in color, the models are exactly the same. The first thing you want to do is power on the instrument. You need to ensure that there are no flashing red lights, which would indicate a service error. If you see flashing red lights, please refer to the error code section of the owner's manual. As we see here, the left side of the machine indicates our battery level. The two LED lights out of the six indicate that we have just over a third of our battery left. When all six LED lights are lit, it shows that the device is at full power, which means that we have over eight hours of battery. On the right side of the instrument, we see where we'll be able to toggle the amount of time for our sample. We can go from five minutes up to 30 minutes in five minute intervals. If we press this button one more time, we'll see a red LED light up here. The red LED indicates that we are now running in max flow mode, which means that our sample has gone from 200 liters per minute to 500 liters per minute for five minutes of sample time. Now I'll be demonstrating how to run the instrument with one of our standard consumable kits. First, we need to open the pouch along this top notch. Inside, we will see a bag labeled step one and step two, and an instruction card. I will now be demonstrating step one. The first thing that we need to do is open our step one pouch and remove the filter from inside. We will then need to attach the filter. As you will see, the filter can only attach in one direction, and you'll hear it snap in when it's attached properly. After closing the device, we can choose the amount of time for our sample mode. We can toggle anywhere between 5 to 30 minutes or 5 minutes on high flow rate. For this example, we'll be using it on 5 minutes for the standard 200 liter per minute flow rate, and then we'll start our device. You can stop the sample at any time. When you do, you will see that six red LED lights show up. This indicates that the full sample was not achieved. As you can see, we have just completed our five minute sample. The flashing green lights indicate that the sample was done and the device will turn off automatically. We are now ready to begin step two. For step two, we will begin by opening our step two pouch. Inside of our pouch, we will find a pressurized illusion canister, a vial, a lid for the vial, and finally the illusion adapter. We will prepare our illusion by taking out the adapter, attaching our vial to the adapter, and getting our vial ready. We can now remove the filter. We will attach the filter onto the vial and note that it will only attach in one direction and you'll hear it snap in when it's ready. After that, we can put our, our adapter on top of our filter and we're ready for step three. For step three, we simply press down on the illusion canister and it will remove the sample from the filter and put it into the vial. We will have up to from five to six milliliters of sample that is ready to test after just 30 seconds. We can now remove the adapter and the vial take out the lid for the vial, and our sample is complete. Hopefully this demonstration has showed how easy it is to take a sample using the BioCapture Z750. Thank you for watching our video.